and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. Allow me just to take off my rose-tinted glasses to talk about the movie City Limits. This is a 1984, somewhat forgotten post-apocalyptic movie. Um, well, I say 1984, it's kind of the festival circuit, 1984. Came out on general release in 85. And this one is directed by uh, Aaron Lipstart. Um, and it's essentially about uh, this guy called Lee, played by John Stockwell. And uh, he is kind of a guy who's sort of lived out in the wilderness for many years and he kind of wants to go to the city to join this gang of youths called the Clippers, which he kind of idolizes. And he kind of goes there uh, and the, this gang, the Clippers, are kind of sh share the city with a rival gang. Well, they have a somewhat kind of friendly kind of rivalry. Uh, but we have this kind of big bad kind of corporate overlord uh, kind of company type entity that kind of wants to take over the city and wants to put the squeeze on both gangs. Now what will happen? You have to watch the movie to find out. So when I was a, a young whippersnapper, I actually really, really liked this movie. And um, having rewatched it for this review, I cannot figure out why I liked it. Because woo, this one was I can understand why it's forgotten, let me just put it like that. But, what can we say that works in this movie's favour? I would say there's one big thing that this movie does have. And that is a pretty good cast. Um, you know, we've, we have a lot of uh, recognisable faces in this movie. Uh, so John Stockwell, I've mentioned, obviously he was, um, I, I suppose, the lead in, and what I know him from most from was My Science Project. Uh, we've got Daryl Larson, Ray Dawn Chong, we've got a small role for James L. Jones, uh, Kim Cattrall in an early role, and yes, she does get them out in this movie. Uh, we've got Don Opper, who also wrote the movie. To be honest with you, playing the same kind of character like he played in, um, in, Crit in the Critters movie, uh, Pamela Ludwig, uh, and a few other kind of like recognizable kind of names and faces, Kane Holder, for example, uh, even Dean Devlin. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll kind of see in a few scenes here and there. So a, a, a reasonable amount of uh, recognisable faces in this movie. So that's the, that's the best thing I can say about this movie. Um, what else can I say? Um, it's certainly a little bit of a time capsule. So you can kind of watch this one uh, and think, ah, the 80s. They, they were a time of fashion faux pas. Um, it's very, very 80s, this movie. There, there, there are a couple of uh, production choices that I kind of quite liked, for example. And it has a couple of interesting elements in regards to I quite like the fact that we have these rival gangs that are actually relatively kind of um, civil to each other. It's quite typical. You have you know two rival gangs that are very antagonistic, but this one they're kind of not. And ultimately, we have the, the greater threat of this kind of corporate entity. Um... But I have to say, this movie was a tough watch rewatching it. I genuinely can't understand why I liked this movie so much when I was a kid. Probably because it had a cool cover, uh, and we have uh, our, our main character, Lee, has this kind of quite cool looking helmet. But that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. This movie is dull. It is one of the most boring kind of post apocalyptic movies that I remember ever seeing, to be honest with you. It is so dull. Um, there's really not any sort of, I mean, this isn't, this isn't a movie that's, which is kind of positioned to be a kind of cerebral look at the kind of the, the realistic effects of what a post-apocalyptic society might look like. It is meant to be a schlocky, um, B-movie, but it's just not very interesting. It's dull. There's very little action in this movie, and the action that we do have is, is just very uninteresting. It's not particularly well photographed, it's not well, it's not well choreographed. Um, and it, it, it's just kind of bikes kind of like going through balsa wood kind of like, you know, traffic signs and things like this and, and falling into kind of clearly empty kind of cardboard boxes. It is so crappy, to be honest. Um, the cast, what are they wearing? I mean, I know the 80s were a time of high fashion, should we call it? But they may as well be looking like court jesters. This, I mean, they, they, what they're wearing is ridiculous. I mean, it's like um, if, if you can imagine the most garish '80s kind of costume, and you you dial that 
you know, up to 11. And this is what the costume department has come out with as the kind of the futuristic kind of fashions. Um, I don't think the cast are particularly, well the cast, although there are lots of recognisable names here, no one really has anything to do. Um, John Stuckwell is our kind of our, our point of view character, is, is pretty, I, I have to say he's kind of like, um, he's not as kind of charming and like, as every man as he was for example in the uh, uh, My Science Project, he's just kind of dull and un uninteresting here. Um, the movie has quite a, quite a large cast, so it never really focuses on on you know anyone in particular for any good great length of time. If I'm completely honest, but everyone here is just playing bland, cliche characters that are uninteresting. Don Opper, as I say, who also, who co-wrote the movie, is just doing his critter shtick. Um, same, practically the same character. It's so lazy this film. Um, that the, the the this corporate entity seems completely kind of like uh, uh, unable to be a real threat because they they're, they're simply unable to take on this kind of like this, these gangs of bikers. But there's not many of them. This gangs of bikers. I mean, there's like a handful of like youths on each side, and yet this kind of this uh, kind of government sort of troops or whatever they're meant to be that are armed and have guns and such. No one else. Just don't just don't seem to be any kind of real threat. It's it's just not a good movie, unfortunately. Um, one forgotten to the waste bins of time with this one, I think. So, City Limits, certainly a disappointing uh, look back. A film that I did quite enjoy when I was uh, when I was young. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend this one if I'm honest with you. This one is two out of ten for me. It was pretty poor. Uh, have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to you next time. Bye for now.